hello guys welcome to the video today we're going to see how we can draw things on a flutter app so flutter just like any other software contains a canvas this canvas can be used to draw your custom things like you don't you, you don't it doesn't have something you want to draw it doesn't have a particular kind of widget that you want to make which is rare in flutter but it might happen so what do you do in that case uh, will you just just use the flutter canvas okay let's let me just show you on the screen so currently on the screen we have four things first one is the code editor which is necessary second one is obviously you know that I, I do it this way I just paste the codes so that you can easily follow along so I have my medium blog open where you can find all the code that, that I'm going to use uh, if I make some changes I update it okay so and the third thing is in the third thing is this uh, uh, command line where I just ran the flutter run command which is running the flutter app in our emulator okay so let's start so first of all if you see in the code editor uh, just ignore this part because this is something default for every app so we're going to ignore this part and as well ignore this part you know till till this part because it is something something called a stateful widget which you use in uh, almost in any app so just ignore this part and our area of concern is this this small part okay so what, you, what we're doing is this is our custom shape painter so custom painter is a class and we're just extending it using this shape painter class and we have to call custom paint then we have to call this particular painter shape painter that we created okay so that's all we have to do now once you see in the emulator i just ran the app it is completely blank why because it doesn't have anything to run anything to paint we're going to give it something to paint so this is our first thing to paint this is the rectangle i'm going to copy it copy it and paste it in in the paint method not on the shoot repaint method uh, but on the paint method let's uh, do that and let's just uh, reload the app i'm going to press shift r to give capital r which will reload the app so let's just wait for it to reload and uh, yeah it took a little time but it did come so we can see we can see what you can see is a rectangle a rectangle that was drawn because of these lines of code okay so similarly let's just try a little few few other things a uh, few other things as in circle and rectangle so, sorry it's not a rectangle it's not a rectangle it's a triangle uh, i'll probably update it and even if i don't you'll you'll know okay so let's just put it here and uh, just to reduce the confusion let's just comment it out okay and let's reload it now we have to wait a little more and 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 should update yeah it just updated to a circle because we we call this method draw circle and if you remember we call the method uh, draw rectangle draw rect in the previous one okay third thing we're going to try is draw a triangle remember i, I re rename i'll rename it to rectangle uh, triangle because i mistakenly wrote rectangle here I'll, I'll have to rename it to triangle i'm going to copy this code and paste this code uh, you know what I, I i this does not have a paint element so i'm going to uh, i'm going to keep the paint element here and uh, paint one i'm going to use paint one here so you can just create a paint and use it anywhere that is that it suits okay so this is all done i just pasted the code and use the paint then i'm going to uh, reload it okay another reload and another weight and we have a triangle this is a little weird i did not know the dimensions but there we have it a triangle uh, let me just try to let me just try to you know it's going to be complicated uh, let's uh, let it be for another video but you get the idea right it's a triangle it's a triangle that is made somewhat like this okay so uh, i think we can try something a little something uh, instead of height i'm going to increase the height by say 100 let's see what happens so you just get the idea how the dimensions are getting affected uh, we're gonna have to wait again uh, it's doing it's doing a thing and 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 if you if you just noticed it is it is very subtle so i'm going to increase it i'm going to in fact uh, decrease it so that will make it bigger because the dimensions are reversed for reversed for x and y if you if you have worked with canvas previously you will know this 
okay now i'm not going to use a uh, hot reload i'm going to use hot restart and as you can see when i change the dimensions it, the triangles change so basically you get the idea it's a little complicated but you get the idea so all that for this video i'll be back in the next video with something even cooler until then goodbye and take care